Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a new course all together. And the name of this course is what we call Introduction to, <coughs> to Social Work 2. I am aware that some of you we have already done introduction to social work one and now this is introduction to social work two. Why is it that social work has two different introductions? Is there anybody who has an answer? These other courses you just do introduction to social work. And then you do the introduction and then you end there. But social work is coming to us with two different introductions. Different in the manner that the first one which was done earlier on was called Introduction to Social Work 1. And then this one is Introduction to Social Work 2. Why is it that the, the open course is coming to you with a true introduction? Can anybody come up with any suggestion? Well, I think it's the matter of uh, Speak loudly. Uh, yes. I think it's the matter of uh, trying to go deeper on uh, the theories and concepts which uh, were being introduced in, uh, in, in uh, the first introduction. So uh, in the introduction, I'm going to just go deeper and try to understand those uh, theories and concepts which have been, uh, were being taught in uh, uh, one in the introduction. You are saying that maybe it's because we would want to deepen, to deepen our knowledge, our knowledge, our knowledge in social work. Is that your proposal? Good. We are trying to go deeper or to deepen our knowledge in as far as social work is what? Is concerned. I think you are right. Introduction to social work one was done in one full semester. Is that right? And now in this semester, we are measuring ourselves in Introduction to Social Work 2, isn't it? So the reason, one of the reasons why we would want to do Social Work 2, according to him, he says, to deepen our knowledge or our understanding in what? In Social Work. I think that one carries water. Another reason why we are engaging ourselves in introduction to social work too. Any other reason? We must be we must be thinking. Probably thinking critical. Another reason? Why are we doing introduction to social work too? Come up with the reasons. Suppose you have received a visitor in your house and then somebody comes and introduces that visitor to you. And somebody comes as well and says, introduction one has already been done concerning this visitor we have this morning. 
So, I am coming to you with introduction number two. What does that, what connotation does that give to you? What connotation? To understand better what is To understand better on what in such social work is to to understand understand better on what social social work social work is or about. Are we together? What do you think is another reason why we are embarking ourselves in social work? Just thinking. Yes, my brother. To understand on how we improve the lives of people in the society. Hello? To understand on how we can improve the living standard of people who live in the society. Wow! To understand, thank you, Siddha. To understand, to understand only how we can improve. Improve what? Improve the living, living standards of people where in societies. This is also a brilliant idea. Because social work, according to what we know, social work is all about the people. How we can improve the welfare of what? Of individuals, number one, individuals, number one. And number two, all groups. And number three, of the communities. Allow it together. I've said how many people are involved to have their welfare improved? Three, and number one is what? Individuals, individuals, and then after individuals, where do we go? Groups. 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 And after groups, where do we go? Community. Community. These three concepts must, must get grounded in you. When you think of a social way, think first of an individual. And second, think of a what? A group. And then lastly, think of a what? A community. So according to him, he says, maybe social work number two is coming to us in order to help us out improve the living certificate uh, the standards of people in the society. And then I say, those people we are he is focusing on according to social work uh, objectives are individual, group, and what? In the community. Do we have any do you have your own result? why we need to embark on social work number two after doing social work number one introduction to social work one and then now we are in introduction to social work two the question this morning is why are we trying to do introduction social work number two why just general thinking from you
Say it loudly because other people in lines elsewhere are also listening to what you and the, or we are discussing here. So speak loudly for the benefit of ourselves here and also the benefit of those who are remote and far from here. <coughs> you find the main points, you find the subtopics of the main points. To find the subtopics of the main points and the social one. To find what? Subtopics mm -hmm. of the main points. Subtopics of the main points? Ah, <laughs> that one is even more interesting to find some topics. That is what you say. And then continue. Of the main points then in social way. Of the main points then in social work one. Okay? What do you mean? Yeah, it's like maybe you already discussed in the video. So you just introduced. So you want to continue like maybe if we want to include that in the video, should we do? Uh-huh. Okay. There is a point in that one. There is a point. But uh, let me add this one to cover it all or in a nutshell. The principle behind doing social work, introduction to social work number two is because Social work as a discipline is what is a, who can read this one? Is what? Again? It's broad. What do, you, do we mean when we say social work is broad? How do you understand the way broad? Social work is broad. How do you understand that? Is, uh, is, according to him, he says, no, the word broad is uh, coming to us to inform us that it's big. I like it, I like the word big. <laughs> okay, another one. How do you understand the word broad? I think it's bad. I think it's always. Is what? Is what? Gradual. Is gradual? Yeah, I think it's so it's, it's big, yeah. I think it's every time. Okay, you think maybe because it is changeable. Is it what we are saying? You think maybe it changes like a chameleon. <laughs> It changes like a chameleon. Or you think each and every year new knowledge creeps in into social work? Wow. Anyway, because thinking is dynamic anyway. Those are just ideas. Social work is broad. Meaning that it is wide. It is wide. Or in social work, there, there are more and more principles. Principles and concepts concepts 
that we need to know to know or understand understand so it's it's big it's broad so if something is broad then one introduction is not enough isn't it the first introduction that was done in social work one was done to introduce what social work is or about the definition and then and the history of social work was that introduction to social work one things that were about in that social work one were like number a definition of social work was done in social work one in in in, in short social work introduction to social work one every act defining what social work is yeah? definition was done and definition that was provided in social work one was not only done in one way no but in several ways how different groups how different organizations defy social work you know it is going to be the same terminology but different people can come in with various definitions isn't it for example look at me today and then somebody comes in and say you are four of you now and say can you describe pastor polimbo put your eyes on me and i would want you to describe me how can we make this different i will ask you this question and if i will ask you 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 will respond to this question you are different see how people define or come up with a different definition of social work ha so i'm giving you for at least three minutes this short small paper this beauty that one your friend and then you de- you describe me as today negatively or positively i will not be offended clear <laughs> so i want to be offended just write your own definition uh, prescription just a, a sentence you look at me you describe me positively or negatively i will not be offended describe me i'm waiting for you for some few minutes that you write your description you are aware that can describe me who has finished you have to look at me and describe me write a sentence on the way on that on that on that paper and then is it hard to describe the lecture no. are you done yes okay if you are done come this way i want you to be seen on the camera come and stand this way and then say i am so 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 according to me 
This is your description. Please come. Who has that? Has finished? Don't spend a lot of ink describing me. Yes. Come this way and tell us who you are and then um, if, he, if, he, if he passes, stop writing now. Huh? Yes, tell us your name. Uh, thanks for him. Yes. Look yeah. at me and describe me and submit your name. Uh, you are a anthropologist and always wearing glasses and your shirt, black in color, skin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> According to what is it? Francis Fabiano. Francis Fabiano. According to Fabiano, he says, I am glasses, I wear glasses, short, short, and, and black. However, I am an anthropologist. Hey. And appreciate. Oh, wow! Short. Ah, nice, nice. Ah, is that so? I didn't know. Good. Who comes next? Come. That one is Fabian, and that is Fabian. Yes. Who are you? Oh, you are Rico. Rico.
So, because, because three people have said Mkorimo is short, that is three over four, and then according to the principles of this world, majority must always what? So, I agree. Because the majority has described me as short, I'm short, but when I die, I will grow short. At least I am poor. So, I am short. Short. What else? What else? Comes Cedro? Brown. Brown or black? Brown or black? Brown. I'm short and brown. What else? Fat. What? What other times does when fat comes? Twice. I am a, a fat person. In fat. The rest of the things. Another one is glass. Glass. Yeah, I, 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 I'm one of the guys who always wear our glasses since 2007 because of sight problems. Other people think that I'm just wearing these glasses, just wearing for not for prestige. It isn't. It's because in this world maybe we age or due to some environmental factors, we have our sight working. So that's that. So somebody might think that you can ignore shortness, brownness, fat, and glasses and say, I know Kolimbo is short and brown. He ends there. He has given a, 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 a description to Mkorimbo. But somebody can say, Mkorimbo is short, brown, and fat. Some people might say, he is short, brown, fat, and aggressive. The definition, those definitions, are they the same? That is why I am saying, introduction to social work one. Every act giving us on what social work is all about, give the definitions submitted to us in various books by different authors. Clear? So that was done in introduction by different different authors. When we are trying to understand something in Using definition, you must not only capitalize on one author. Clear? You want to understand it in details for that several authors. What does Guruna say? And when you convert Guruna, it means that Guruna is an authority in that particular discipline. She has written a book on a social way, so you consult her definition. And then you will see that in the definition of Buddha, there are some gaps. That yes, she defined it, but it seems she has not done it properly. Let me also consult the book of Baruch. Two people cannot write similar things. They can only use maybe the meanings can be the same, but not very much so. That's why we consulted a different authors to give us the introduction to what? To social work. And we named that introduction to social work. The introduction to social work one, 
we were also uh, involved in what we call uh, the objectives. The objectives of what? Objectives of social work. The objectives of social work. By the way, let, let us not leave the, 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 the definition. How did you define social work in your introduction to social work one? How did you define social work? Anyone know the definition of social work? have information. Can you come here? I want people to see you say it. Can you stand here and say, according to my knowledge, this is what I know. In this class, I will be involving each and everybody who has a point to say, and if you think you don't have a point, you will still be involved and you will stand here and tell us that I don't have a point. So let us listen to who and Google. What is it that you understand concerning social work? Social work is a practice in which professionals are, are devoted in helping one others. Wow. Hood, can you write this one? Can you write that? Can you write it? Because people are taking notes. Take your time to write what you are saying. For some of you who are just joining us, listen to what Guru Rikoko is telling us. I know we are two groups here, isn't it? Some were in the introduction to Social Work One, and some are just joining now. They will end up doing introduction to Social Work One, and you that did introduction to social work one already and she is now doing introduction to social work two. So who you some some of you who are just joining us now know for sure that you, start, you have started from two going towards one. One. And you have started from one going towards one. Two. So in this class I must bridge you together. My struggle this morning my way this morning is to bring you together so that we can start this marathon at any at one of just We must travel together. According to Huda Rikoko, can you now emphasize your ways? No. What did you say? Emphasize your ways. Social work is a practice in which professionals are devoted in helping vulnerable and needy. Okay, look at the definition that Buddha is submitting to us this morning. Are you looking at it? Look at that definition. The definition is okay. But look at that definition critically. Look at it critically and you come up with the key words that are there. You remember all of us that in anthropology? All the key words were underlined. So, can you please uh, 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 identify key words in that, uh, in that uh, definition? Identify the key words. Again? I want to do uh, our friends elsewhere are not hearing you. We are three groups here. So we are three groups here. If you want to speak, you to speak it up so that even the, uh, the, 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 the machine can capture us. Yes, Mala, you have a point. Professionals. Professionals. Do we know agree that that one is the key word? Yes. Do we know agree that professionals is the key word? Guys, I want us to agree. Hello there? Yes, the answer is yes. The other key word is what? 
Agora ele viu? He says, probably nothing. Do you agree? Who doesn't agree? No, but everybody is agreeing. Wow. I, think I also agree with you. And then the other one is what? Practice. Okay, you can underline that one. Use this one. Use this one. If you are underlined, use this one. Knowledge 
minus skills, the answer is what? Zero. Skills minus knowledge, the answer is what? Zero. Why do we need to have knowledge in doing social? What is the importance of knowledge in, 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 in doing this, this activity? In social work? Why is knowledge so significant? Anybody want to answer? Come, 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 come this way. Come this way. Come this way. I want people elsewhere also to see you. I want people elsewhere also to see. Please speak. Speak loudly. And each time you come this way, tell us your name and you, 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 you recite the question saying, We need knowledge in social work because of because. So I want to thank you because. I'm Eric. Uh, so we need uh, knowledge in uh, practicing social work uh, just because uh, we want to do it uh, professionally. So if you have knowledge in something, uh, you actually does that particular thing with care since you know every uh, corner to deal with uh, that particular thing. Same applies to uh, social work. Thank you. Clap hands for our brother. I think he has spoken very good, eh? boldly, intelligent, in the forecast. <laughs> Guys, I'm saying, take it or leave it. If you don't have knowledge, don't go. Just like when you want to get married, you need to propose the woman. And then you don't know how to speak to a lady. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. because you will end up being offended and disappointed and possibly hurting yourself for receiving the negative statements. If you have, you don't have knowledge. Don't worry. Don't go to do social work. Then I'm saying, knowledge goes together with what? Skills. If you don't have skills, please don't go. If you don't have skills, don't go. Because according to what I said, you will injure. You will injure others. And what should we do now? Go to school as you have done. Be oriented, be introduced to social work. And now people who want to, 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 to come up with the uh, university students who are full of debt, we need to come or give you another dose of introduction to social work. Clear? We want you to come out of this university full backed, not half backed. That is why the universities managing it accepted the idea of coming with the introduction to social work one and introduction to social work two in order to ensure that you and I have worthy By, I don't know what to say, to deepen our knowledge in social work. We are back. We are back in that way. Others were introduced in, in, in social work one, well, and now we are coming with introduction to social work two in order to have you grounded in what? In social work. You must be grounded. In social work. Because all the reasons why you are here, all the reasons why you are there, is to get a degree, a certificate in social work. Social work. Therefore, you need to come out of this university for that.
If by any other reason you happen to finish all the courses here and still lack knowledge, and I think that one, then we need another. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe you are sick. We need a physician. Or probably a witch doctor to go. <laughs> because the question will be why? Did you do introduction to social work one? Then you say yes. Did you pass the examination? Yes. What about the introduction to social work two? Did you do it? Yes. Now why are you failing now to practice it? No, I just forgot. Ah, uh -huh. you are very, very foolish. You shouldn't forget this principle. We are here to get the training in practicing professional and devoted having skills to those that are venerable, not only venerable, but those that are worthy needed. You know, when you ask students to find the key ways, they can only find one, two, three. But when the lecture comes and look at the same sentence, they can find the name. How many have I added? Let, 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 me, let, me, let me indicate. You only found how many? Four. How many did you find? Four. Okay? You said practice, professionalism, and then hope vulnerable. But the lecture has added one. The lecture has added it too. I'm saying, when you serve venerable, and then you leave out the middle, you are goofing. Because some people are venerable in any day way. <laughs> many, there are so many who are needed in this way. So many people who are what? Needed. They need our so many people who are venerable, they need help. And an example of venerable people is who? Children. Okay? Children and women. Uh, it's interesting that it is coming from the man himself. <laughs> he says the children and the women are so, so venerable. So, who else is venerable? According to you, and you are ending there, you are saying that when we start there, we are focusing on the children and women. Are they the only ones? Give me more. Prisoners. Prisoners? You think prisoners are venerable? How venerable? Because uh, these people are subjected uh, to different uh, human rights and sometimes they are being uh, treated harshly by their guards in prison. And uh, find that some uh, rights uh, such as the uh, rights to uh, education, some don't get that right to education, when it comes to food, they don't get enough uh, or adequate of food supply to find where they sleep. It's not the place where a person can sleep and uh, some some sorts of uh, violations. Come on, hands for you. Eric, you are speaking intelligently. So, I would want to include prisoners. Because if you just mention something and then you don't defend it, people can say it is it is a bit true. But when you say something and then you defend it, people can take it. Who else is venerable? Yes, mother, what is your name? Taonga. Taonga? 
Taonga is telling us this morning that uh, not only children, women, prisoners, but we should also include those that are with this what? Disabilities. Disabilities. People with disabilities. Amen. Guys, you are speaking sensible things now. And my cup is overflowing. You know what I mean? Meaning that my heart is full of what? Joy. Because it doesn't benefit to be in a class whose students are like they are just being believed. But you are very, very different. And I will always keep life in you. You are very, very significant to me. Because you are giving me facts. In Atlas University, never be a listener to any lecture, but be a participator. Yeah? Give points until lecture say, hey, enough is what? Enough. Please comment on the way. But as for me, I need you comments as we go towards our direction. We are on the definition saying it is a, a practice of hope, it's a practice of helping venerable people. But how do you do that practice professional? Helping venerable people from professional. Don't help them just using the knowledge of your goals. No, no. Getting the knowledge is from somewhere. You cannot even locate. That is unacceptable. You must help people professionally. All together, helping people professionally. And guys, social work is a profession. Now, another, another group of venerable people, they what? Refugees. Ah, definitely refugees. Can you defend your statement? Refugees, blood, a place where they can stay. Many others, they run away from their country because of escaping war. They are so, mm -hmm. they needed a lot of things, like food and some other stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you said refugees are people who have been displaced from their various what? countries because of war, because of natural disasters, is that so? Yeah. And then they come to your country. Mm -hmm. Poor, needed, venerable. So they need to be heard, but why do you, why do you, professionally, don't help people and profession. Yeah. You know, there are disadvantages of helping somebody and a profession. There was another guy, last year when I was teaching, uh, one of the classes, then uh, last, last semester lab, I was on my way coming from the depot to this place. Then uh, I found a hope, huh? a hope, beating somebody who is termed as a needy person. A hope, huh? beating a venerable person. Then I stopped. Oh, and see. Right, mister, what are you doing? And why are you beating this one? And he said, This one has offended me. And I will show her today. And I said, Madam, 
what have you done to him? And the, 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 the madam said, the victim said, he told me I should come here and he would help me to find employment. But what he is asking from me, very different. You can guess what is this man asking from this man. No. Is it money? Sweets? <laughs> Whatsoever a man can ask from me. And because the lady was refusing to submit that special item to this man. And then the man said, for you to be here, I spent money on you. Employment, next. But what I want from you, first. I have already given you transport from you area, paper six. And you have used my man to come here in area 15. I need it. What I want from you before you go. And the lady said, No, if that is the case, then I'm going. She started running away. And the man was running after her and get hold of her shirt and start slapping him. Left and right. Then I stopped and I said, Sir, what you are doing isn't good. Stop beating this lady. And you lady, report this incident. Where? To the police. And I, 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 I gave her some money to board a bicycle going to area 18. Soon after her arrival there, the police welcomed her and she was told to get into the police vehicle and they came there at area 15 and picked the man to answer charges of beauty, a venerable person. You see, there is no professionalism. How can you demand for sex to your client? Is that ethical? Not at all. That is why to prevent you from demanding success from your clients, you must first of all sit under this room and be trained properly by trainers who matter most, like me. You see? Some people went somewhere to work to help work in in the villages, distributing food and blankets to some venerable people in the villages. And you know what these guys did? Instead of giving two blankets to one gogo, they gave one and kept it for themselves one, one and established a man. Is that professional? No. If the organization is said, give me two to this individual, give him just the same group. And all together, don't steal. If you are stealing goods or properties belonging to venerable people, then you are doing or you are practicing it in what? In a profession. So, you can see that I am emphasizing that sexuality is a practice which is done what? Profession. Guys, if you want to be good guys, well trained and qualified, Learn and aim to do things professionally. Allow it to Do it with your own heart. 
When we say with you are all of us, then we are saying you must do that before. Don't just say, I am here. Just to fill up the cup. If you are a social worker, make sure that you do all you are doing with your whole heart. How? As I'm teaching here, even God is aware. That in Korebo, this is the end. Doing the teaching with all your heart. If you think you are a lover guy, choose another discipline. Not social work. Social work calls for devoted people. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You know I'm a bishop of the church. So hallelujah is not a strange way to be. <laughs> if you feel that you your heart is away and that you just want to do the course social work, my friend. You are wasting your time and resources. This one is the course that calls for devoted people. Devoted lecturers, devoted students. Can you only, if you, you are a devoted teacher and then you have devoted students, only where devotedness exists, then we can come to something. If your parents have sent you here to do social work and your heart is not there, go back to them and say, keep your money. Who wants to spend on something that is not profit worth? Who wants? Nobody. Before I continue, I want you to confirm with me this morning. This is introduction to social media too. And this is the first class. Tell me, should I? Can you confirm that you will be devoted to all classes offered in the name of social work at this university? Can you confirm? If you say yes, I will confirm I confirm that I will be a devoted student. Not making an unnecessary absenteeism, not making a right. I want to say you are a devoted before I continue. Come here, Lola, and say, and I'll confirm. Please confirm. Lola, come. And that's the real question. You have to promise that you will be devoted because this is the last introduction to this post social. I want you to forgive Yes, tell us who you are. I'm here, Daddy Coco, and I'm here to confirm that I, 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 I will be devoted in this course. Clap hands for her. Madam? Yes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dawn Bandango. I wanted to confirm that I will be devoted to this cause. No one is a study after me. Love my father. Sir, Harry. Hello, uh, this is uh, your boy, Harry. Okay? Um, I'm here uh, to confirm that I will be devoted uh, to uh, continue this course and try to finish this course uh, and uh, I, I won't make unnecessary uh, absenteeism. If it might happen for the absenteeism, for the being absent, just telling the lecture or the class representative. Thank you. Come on, for you. So, Clap hands for him. Uh, I'm Francis Fabian and I'll be devoted to this course for the aim of helping people professionally. 
a lot of hearts for him. Thank you so much, students. You have proven to me that you are serious students. You are not here just to let the time pass, but you are here to for serious things. Then, if you do, you, you are serious now. You become serious now. You become serious every time. In all the activities that you call for you as a student in the social work department, know for sure that if you start devoting this now, even wherever you shall go, you will be a devoted person. You don't need to first find employment in order to start practicing commit serious commitments. You must start it now. Don't miss classes. Attend all the classes as long as they are coming to you in the name of social work. Social work is a bad all the disciplines that are here can challenge you. There are people here doing procurement, other, other, other education, but social work. For them to interact well in their classroom, they need social work skills. Clear? Social work skills. So, devotedness is, is big in this course. Now, let me add on another group that is, or, 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 that is venerable, is what we call the aged. Do you agree with me? Yes. The aged. The aged are subject or are prone to several things. Those people who practice and cleanliness and die of probably cholera and even these other diseases that kill people when death happens in a community or in a group where an elderly guy exists, they forget their uncleanliness mannerisms and focus on the goal and say this death has been caused by that guy. Let us go towards his house at once and they move with the power and unite a big group of people going towards a gogo's house and say we are here. To claim for the laws of our days. Am I born? Not that you are born. Can you be born? You are a wizard. A witch. Immediately, then you see good boys. If I was a Jew, I could say I could call them and circumcise the boys. Stretching! They are hands like this and slapping an old man or an old woman. Some of you shall be slapped by people in all your own community saying you are what? You are a, 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 a what? A, a, a wizard or a witch. You know when people grow old, one of the reasons that tells that they are old people, they lose teeth. And they say that teeth was lost because we are, we are trying to put more effort to eat the head of my son. Mm. <laughs> 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 you know, every other people are venerable. So how many venerable people have we mentioned? Six. 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 Do you have any other group that are also venerable? Using contemporary issues, knowledge, Wow. Offers. 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 There are people 
who have no parents, children, who are parents. Yes, if you have your parents, both parents, or one parent with you, speak to your God in a thankful prayer. I am one of them. Both my father and mother lives to this day. I'm not special, but it's only God. So, and when you say windows, windows. Widows. Widows. Widows are those that have lost their spouse. Are those that have lost their spouse. Those are widows. A widow is somebody who has lost a spouse? <coughs> Those are venerable guys. They are so venerable. In a manner that the source of income was probably coming from the man, and the man dies, leaving them without resources.
You are also subject to some abuses, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? And then there is also another group of people who are also victims of vulnerability. These are these guys. You go what? They what? What is this? Nothing those that are living with happiness. If the measures of some illness are patients can also be you see that the risk is broad. What does this mean? It means that social workers have and limited avenues where they can deliver services. It is unfortunate that social work program is just being introduced in Malawi. It has not. It, 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 has, it is just being introduced now. Ten years ago, there was no social work discipline. It's just new. And because it is broad, because it is broad, as we have as we have written here, it is broad. We need knowledge. Clear? Because more knowledge is needed. More skills is required. Therefore, social work comes to you in social work introduction number one and social work introduction number two simply because social work is broad. Have we agreed now? It is broad. The other part, it requires commitment. The other way, it requires professionalism. It's broad. It requires devotion. It requires professionalism. Why? In order to help people where knowledge is fundamental. Professionalism is not an option. Then our ability and little people are our focal points. It is this course that we are beginning today. We will continue with some concepts from social work introduction one and then we will continue with the social work introduction number two. Things that we are going to be discussing in this in this course are as follows. Just want to give you a picture of an outline of what we are expected to do in social work number two. I just want you to understand that. What is it that we are going to be focusing in social work number two? Are you ready? The first thing that we are going to focus, to put our focus on, in this, in this uh, part of social work introduction, number one, we are going to look at, to look at the process. Introduction is done already, but there is a process of social work. Now that you have already been introduced, introduced to what social work is and what its objectives are, 
in this part of introduction, social work introduction to we are going to focus on the process of social work. Word. Number two, another focal area. Another focal area is that we are going to be introduced to methods. Methods of social work. Methods. Of social way. Number three. Number three. We are going to focus on social social construction. Construction. Construction of, of individual. Individual. Individual and Community, community needs. Huh. We are going also to focus on that one. Another focal area in this, uh, uh, in this uh, part of social work is what we call provision of social welfare services provision provision of social welfare services we are going to also to focus on that one and again we are also going to focus on what we call social, social work, social work, social work models. Then we are going also to focus on what we call, what we call strategies, strategies. Strategies of, of social social work. And then on that one, we are going to look at these strategies only on a micro, micro, and then another word, meso, meso, and somebody is already scratch his head, what type of word is this? Meso and, and, and macro, macro levels. Ah, this way social work course is very good. And then also, and then also, or finally, we are also going to focus on what we call Indigenous, 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 indigenous knowledge, knowledge systems, indigenous knowledge systems. I'm saying indigenous knowledge. Systems. Let us, let us come together. Uh, the focal points that we are going to focus in this introduction of social work. Number one, can you read as a class? If I say one, two, three, go, then start reading from there. Not that some people see you as a process go. One, two, three, go. Number one is what? Number two is what? Number three is what? The other one is what? The other one is what? The other one? The other one? If we do that, 
Yeah? It means we are done in as far as some introduction to social work two is concerned. Now your assignment. Assignment that we are going to I'm going to give you is not the actual assignment that you are supposed to write to me and submit as an assignment, but this is an indoor class assignment. And I'm saying that you should find out from the Google or from the library books the process of social work. So next week when we meet on Monday, I will ask you to present whatever you have found from the Google or Internet on what involves in the process of social work. We are six of us, minus me, five of you, students. So I expect you, if you find, you will find that there is a list of what it means, what involves the process of social work. So, there must be one, two, three, four, five, six. On that list, just choose one. On that list, choose one. And you, ex you will explain only that one. You should focus on number one. On that list in which you are going to find in the library or on the internet, focus on number one. According to the list you will find, focus on number two. According to you, focus on number three. According to you, focus on number four. According to you, focus on number five. If it, if it happens that number one of your list is number one of that one, you will still be, you will still like explain, be, be allowed to explain, and you will be forgiven for ex explaining at least what, for targeting one item. Clear? So don't come to me next week. You know, you have taken a vow that we are going to be devoted. So be devoted. <laughs> be devoted to do that particular exercise. This was the mega class. And thank you for coming to attend this class. It is replacing the class that was lost on Monday because of the family. So on this Monday, we will have it. What time on Monday? Did you see the timetable or the timetable has changed? Yeah. So, but it is still coming on Monday, I think. Therefore, focus, look at your timetable, and then we will meet on Monday. So each time we lose a class due to public holiday or any other issues, we will replace that lost class with a negative class to show to make sure that I become committed to you and you also become committed to the social disease. Thank you very much for your attention and your contribution. You have been a wonderful, interesting, clever, intelligent student. God bless you.